Hey everyone, it's September 8th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with serial killer Matthew Emanuel Macon, who murdered seven victims, including five women in a span of just over a month in 2007. And that is him right up there. Macon was born in 1979 and had a turbulent childhood. His sister was placed in foster care in 1983 after their violent and abusive father was found to have sexually abused her. He was also placed in foster care shortly thereafter and bounced from home to home, running away in 1989 when he was charged with breaking into a bike shop and comedy club, pleading guilty at the age of 10. Who books that club? Call me. He was also arrested for sexually assaulting a girl with a stick when he was 14 and spent years in court-ordered treatment for sex offenders. In 1992, he was sent to a facility for delinquent children in Nebraska and after release found himself in more trouble. Macon was arrested in 1994 for stealing a car and breaking into a grocery store to steal food. When he turned 18, things seemed to have turned around for him, but unfortunately that didn't last. Macon returned to Lansing, Michigan where he found himself incarcerated for parole violations and larceny. In the summer of 2007, a string of six attacks in Lansing occurred in just four weeks, all with a similar M.O. The victims were middle-aged to elderly women who lived alone and were beaten to death. They ranged in age from 36 to 76, and at least one was sexually assaulted with a stick as part of the attack. Five of the women were beaten to death, but one survived when her dog scared off the assailant. Her description of the attacker allowed a sketch artist to draw the killer, and that sketch led police to Macon, who was arrested and charged with murder. After his capture, police were able to tie him to a sixth murder that occurred three years earlier. That victim had been discovered in 2004 in the very same home where they found one of the more recent victims. He had engaged in a similar string of home invasion assaults in 2003 and 2004, but only one of his victims died during that span. Macon also confessed to the rape and murder of a college professor, a crime for which another man was serving time. The innocent man was released after losing nearly two years of his life behind bars for a crime he didn't commit, and the prosecutor was fired for hiding evidence that would have proved his, his innocence. Macon received a life sentence for murder and currently serves his time in Michigan's St. Louis Correctional Facility. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Matthew Emanuel Macon, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.